Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. One of the snacks they need to be small. We are running to get the, the train. Let's hurry up, let's hurry up, it's gonna leave. We made it to the train station just in time. It's the next one. I mean that one? Yeah. Oh come on. That one right there. Yeah. Luca. Luca is in. Oh look, okay. Cosimo, yes. We made it. Oh, guys, we have too many bags. And these are not that many. And these are not that many. So we thought we were late and now we made it. Come on. Keep going, keep going. Keep going. <laughs> Here? Yes, this too. Uh, it's the okay. adventure start for the private explorer. We stayed three days in Ulaanbaatar and now we get in the train. This is the Trans-Siberian, right? Yes. Trans-Siberian train. It's exactly like it. Yeah. And we're gonna travel all night, 12 hours to get to our destination. And from there, the adventure starts yeah. more, more seriously. We are not gonna tell you what we're gonna do. Is, so you had to watch the video because it's gonna be really cool. This adventure started really, really rushing. Because because there's no taxi available Fresh hour. and the guys start calling us where are you where are you busy crazy and look how many people they're coming so it's gonna be a really cool adventure let's come in the train come in the train with us this is i don't know what this is uh, where's the bathroom? this is the hot Maybe water over there i think it's over there these are the cabin here is the key. So, we got two cabins, cool. guys, the, with four beds each. So, this cabin is going to be Emma, Mommy, and Luca. And the other cabin is going to be our guy, Tulga. Tulga, hi. Me and Cosimo. Welcome to our very humble bedroom. Four beds. Very basic. I'm kidding. Am I? Never mind. Let's begin with the tour of the room. So here we have. I'm in the living room. Two very comfortable, very large beds and two centimeters. Well, on the bottom two, we could put it back a couch. They have some couch living back room, here, radical room. storage area here and over here and, and under the seat. And look up there. You can lift up the seat and have some storage that we've already filled up. And then you have a very flexible curtain Come that through. comes off whenever yes, the curtain fell off. Ow! Look. Here we have some very white linens. <laughs> you make your own bed. Bad bed making, yes. Holly's most favorite part of the journey. You have a very ginormous window, but it's very open. Now, be careful not to fall out the window while you are driving on the train. You have some lights on your bed, USB, more storage over there. A coat hanger. More storage up there. Not sure if that's storage. Okay. I'm not sure what that is. If you like this room, you better subscribe or else you're gonna miss this amazing room. With two centimeter thick beds. Goodbye! You have a step. Uh, I know, I know. Okay, pull it. So you get two step here to go up and this is the handle to hold yourself up. Same thing on the other side. Cosimo, you wanna demonstrate it, how you go up? Oh now they're gonna fight. Okay, Luca, you do it the other side. Get the handle. One. Oh, I had to use two. two. It's okay. Go, Luca. One. Two. And go up. Nice, Luca. Wait, wait, wait. Come Ready down there. Yeah. Yeah. It's not really how you get down. So, so we start from Ulaanbaatar City. Train goes around. Inside the mountains and the river valley and the Dachten. Then it goes backwards to Edin. That's the copper mine town. So that's where we get off. Exactly, that's for tomorrow. Then we'll drive through Borgan, cross to this big river and get go to Murin Town. From Murin Town we go into the mountain. Then we get into more in the mountain. And we go into that, that area and the horses around that section there. So it's really close to the border there. It's only 1960 kilometers from the border. From the border. This is Russia. Yeah. We are really close to the, to the border with Russia. Yes. It's hard to stop. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh my god. Start train. Four, three, two, 
We are leaving, guys! Woohoo! Hey, I can see you, I can see you. There's an open window, baby, bye! We just stopped at the crossing point because it's the red light and we're gonna start again in a little bit. Oh, here we go. So they gave us tea and coffee on the train and now there's literally a shopping cart coming by with food that you can buy. Where you go? Food and drink. It's coming. They have a boiler but it's not an electric boiler because they need no electricity. It's a wood boiler. I saw they were putting wood underneath with the fire. Yeah, the electricity goes on later on. I mean, I don't know. Bumola! Bumola! Close the ladder! Close the ladder! Get up! Get up! Get up! No, thank you! <laughs> we didn't get anything! Are you kidding me? There was two! Hi, we're in the middle of filming a movie. Please go. They cruise outside, mommy. What are we gonna do? What? We're Kazi just looked like he just came out of a movie, so please oh leave. Um, We're filming a reel. Wait, 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 wait. Fifty-three at night. The train stop again, but look how beautiful it's the environment. The sun is setting really late. We saw many horses, horses, many cows, many sheep. And we are still in the train, very awake. Keep on following us to see where we ending. It's really beautiful out here. Bye bye. We still don't believe that we are in Mongolia. Let me pinch you. It's real. It's real. Uh, oh. Lovely mirror. <laughs> we are ready so to go we to have bed. Extra storage. Up they there. give you this very heavy blanket. We want to put it up there, there because that. it's really hot, guys. So you put the mat on it first. Yeah. Right here. They give you this bag completely closed. So what you do, you open it. Inside there is two blanket sheets, the cover pillow, and the towel. Okay. I took off everything before. You lay one of the sheet on it, and the other one you cover yourself. Yeah, and because it's going to be so cold, right? It's really hot, guys. Really, really hot. You can see Masa's skin is all shiny. It's funny because before we, we came here, we were thinking that it was really, really cold. And it's like shorts, short pants, short leaves. And look outside. It's nice and beautiful. Tonight, this is gonna be our beds. Look, it's already set up. Look, he's busy watching something. Good night. What does he want to do? He, he wants to sleep here, doesn't he? So tall. <laughs> so we're sleeping separate. Boys on one side, well, and and girls on the other. Although Luca is part of the girls tonight. 
Go, go to bed. Luca, goodbye, go to bed. brother. Go <laughs> Uh, crazy six-year-old. That's official. I'm an only child. <laughs> it's 10:39, and he doesn't seem at all tired. Or maybe he is tired, and hey, that's why he's hopping you, like this. He had too much sandwich. That's all he ate for dinner. So our major concern is hey, how many times are we going to wake up? Since every no time the train house. starts, it does. Do, 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 do. <laughs> it will be an interesting Don't night sleep. on Go the Mongolian to train. Good night from the two girl explorers plus a crazy, the crazy child. <laughs> it's almost one o'clock in the morning. Zero thirty-six, and finally the crazy kid fell asleep. But we can't sleep. No. So we had an apple. So we peeled an apple. Yes, and we're chewing an apple. Which we're sharing. <laughs> I thought she said alcohol at one point. I was saying apple. I said, let's have an apple. And we're hoping that the apple will make us tired and will make us not hear the sound of the tutun, 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 tutun. So we can finally close our eyes. We also took advantage of the Wi Fi working to post a bunch of stories. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell we're bored. Yes, because we can't sleep. It's a little bit of the jet lag and a little bit of this amazing sound. And we smell like the bathroom. What? Well, it's me. <laughs> mm -hmm. I think we are going to just eat the apple. And who well, we'll knows? just talk to you for the rest of the night. Keep yeah. us company. Uh, probably in the other thing, they're sleeping. The guide is in that room, so I don't think the boys can do this, this thing we're doing. We might talk later. If in two or three hours we're still here, yeah, we'll pass to eat something else. I'm not mm. sure what. Pizza. Which we don't have. We'll order pizza. But maybe the lady with the cart will come by. <laughs> Hello, would you like pizza? Okay. Good night. Maybe I'm for now. Eat an apple. Bye bye. Our no. only friend. Goodbye. The only two explorers that are maybe open. Oh, with the millions I mean, open? of people watching us. Yes, I know. We have millions of people watching us. <laughs> millions. Just remember that while you're watching subscribe to our YouTube channel because we actually will show you some cool stuff other than this uh, moment so bye. bye see you tomorrow morning hopefully with the snoring we don't know if it's daddy our guide probably not Cosmo <laughs> at least we know he fell asleep <laughs> It's quiet now because we stopped at a station. <laughs> but the sound is going to start again soon. Good morning. It's 6.15. And this is the current situation. up uh, one hour before we're supposed to arrive and they left the, the door open no they said because you have 10 minutes to go in the bathroom <laughs> so everybody's running in the bathroom <laughs> there is no water in the bathroom so you have to except in the toilet so you could brush your teeth in the toilet and you would have water oh, you have to brush your teeth with your water yeah i know but the water that you have in the bottle so it's cool but look at the view. What a bad view to wake up to. They were thinking, they recorded me. Was him, was him. That <laughs> they 
<laughs> I was naughty. I wasn't naughty. It wasn't me. <laughs> I'd say that in that compartment, everybody snored, except Cosimo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't know if it was Cosimo or not. Cosimo does not snore like that yet. <laughs> Maybe when he gets older. <laughs> but the thing is that everybody's happy, so it's a good thing. Everybody's happy to be here because we are in nature. Dun, dun, dun. Yes. Seven fifteen. The lady keep on coming and say you have to wake up. You have to wake up. Luca, <laughs> you can see the feet only. It's completely over. And Emma is right here. Cosmo is still sleeping. <laughs> Or better, who we had to wake up because they had to take apart the beds. How did you sleep, Luca? Look at that window in your TV. How did you sleep? <coughs> Emma, how did you sleep? The few hours you slept. Emma's camera is right now. Cosim was awake. How did you sleep? Good. We heard you snoring last night. I was snoring. Yeah, you were so loud. Are you lying? No, so. The story is that it's dad, it was daddy snoring, but he said it was the guy. <laughs> and then he said it was Cosimo. <laughs> Let's try this again. How did you sleep? She didn't sleep. How did you sleep? The train was exactly on time. We just came out. It wasn't easy to record it when we get out from the train. We made it out. We have arrived at the town of Erdenet, which is a copper mine town. And it was founded in 1976, so it's a very young town. And the train was full. Look how many people are still all around here. And Mas is full of bags. Can I have that bag? It's okay, mommy. You have to record this. <laughs> it's really important for us, too, to remember, you know? You can still see from here how many people are getting down. It's a pretty busy station. This is who's taking us around for this tour of Mongolia. We're trying to organize the stuff inside and people just kind of randomly parked. <laughs> and now they're all trying to get out of this parking lot that is kind of messy. Something very cool about Babu is that he, this is his job basically to put bags in the back. You have, you have to be very crafty when you put bags in the back because now we're making a bed of bags so we can lay on it. And now now they're trying to make the bed and look they have to fit all these bags in this cart. Really good. Keep watching to find out what's gonna happen next. Here you go. Mm -hmm. This is Luca's seat. Yeah, See, we good. make a bed for Luca in the bag. <laughs> this is adaptation, guys. Yes. You have to make it work anywhere you go, even with the kids. Now, where are we going to sleep tonight? <laughs> na, na, na. <laughs> See you in the next video. That is another challenge. Now we decided to make a camp here for the night because we are tired. So I'm going to show you a tour of the camp. Let's go. Hello, welcome to my tent. I'm not going to show you it. Emma's going to show you that later in the video. Come in, mother. Luca is going to the bathroom in front of the yaks. What? what? An amazing moment. You're a lucky guy. You don't seem interested, though. They're, in fact, they're walking they're away. Walking away.